Look at the chessboard. It is square in shape and made up of black and white squares. There are squares of eight different sizes within the chessboard. The biggest square can be of dimension 8 by 8. Do you know how many unit squares are there in the chessboard? Let's count. There are 8 unit squares in a row. And there are 8 rows. So, on multiplying 8 by 8, we get a total of 64 squares. Can you say how many squares of side 2 units are there in the chessboard? Observe that there are 7 squares of side 2 units along the rows. And there are 7 such rows. Thus in all, there are 49 squares of side 2 units. Similarly, we can find the total number of squares for the other sizes as well. Note that the numbers 64, 49, 36, etc. are obtained on multiplying a number by itself. Such numbers are called square numbers. Isn't it amazing that the number of squares of each size on the chessboard is a square number? In general, if a natural number Q can be expressed as the square of another natural number, say P, then Q is known as a square number. So numbers 1, 4, 9, 16 and so on are called square numbers. Here is the list of square numbers till 100. Square numbers are also known as perfect squares. Did you notice that not all natural numbers are covered in the list of square numbers till 100? Is 42 a square number? Well, square of 6 is 36 and square of 7 is 49. So, if 42 is a square number, then it must be the square of a natural number between 6 and 7. But there is no natural number between 6 and 7, so 42 is not a square number. Let's see some interesting properties exhibited by square numbers.